Welcome back to Crew Build Series, episode number 78. And so, still on the coal kick here. So, next thing I want to build is... It's kind of like a grain auger. They have belts that they tend to use when they're moving coal. So, you would have just a, a belt that goes up a certain distance, and that would allow you to move the coal up. With grain products in farming, they'll use these grain augers. And so, that's a little bit more how our stuff in game works. It's uh, kind of like a big tube, and so it kind of reminds me of the grain auger. So we're going to make a little bit of a kind of a coal auger to be able to hopefully... It'll make it so that we have a little bit more versatility where we can use things like dump trucks in the mine and then uh, have them dump into higher vehicles. So we made that vehicle last time. Let's go ahead and look. And it's having some phantom physics issues. I don't know how much of a problem it's going to be, but as you can see, this is kind of like a agricultural overloader trailer let me go ahead and look some of those up and i can share them with you all right so these are chaser bins and so i talked about these a little bit last time and this is kind of what the thing that i built last episode was based off of so what you do is you have the combine out in the field and let me see if i can actually get a picture that's not donkey uh so we have the combines out in the field as you can see here and they go ahead and they have a certain capacity and so the combines are out there. They have their own capacity, but it's not that much. You know, there's a lot of space inside of the machine for uh, things like sifters and augers and everything else in there. But they do hold some capacity. Then you have these chaser bins, and the chaser bin's whole job is to hold a lot of capacity. And as you notice, it has an auger on it. And so this auger allows you to then use this bin to transfer into truck and trailer that can go on the road. These can go short distance on the road, but as you can see, they have flotation tires. They're large, low-pressure tires that are designed to go out in the field, which could be soft. And here's a picture here. Let's go to the Wikipedia article and uh, see if it actually has reasonable pictures. So as you can see, you have a combine that unloads into the chaser bin. Then the chaser bin will go to the side of the field, and as you notice, the tractor trailer here has, ooh, it's a Mac. They know it's good. It has road tires. These are up to about 120 PSI. And they're thin, small, much smaller diameter tires that are up to 120 PSI. These are probably running, I'm not going to hazard too much of a guess, but probably sub 20 PSI. And so they're large, wide tires that have low PSI, and that allows them to squish. And so when they go on... You think of it like walking on balloons. And so as the balloon pushes, it spreads out like a snowshoe. And it makes it makes it so that you have uh, less compaction in the field. Compaction is really bad for farming. You don't want to compact. So they have these big, wide, low-pressure tires. And so the bin is designed to go out in the field. I would love it if they would do a farming update for the game. That would be awesome. And, uh, you know, so you, you'd use these in, in the field to transport the the goods so you have a bunch of these chaser bins out there you have the combines running and once this is filled it has a much larger capacity than the combine this will go over to the side of the field and dump into a truck that is on a hard surface now we're kind of simulating underground coal mining and so we don't want to you know i really don't want to put tractor trailers down in the coal mine Ideally, you wouldn't even have the tractor trailers down in the pit because you don't want them to have to drive up the drive up that uh, that spiraling rock up there. That's kind of not what they'd be doing either. They'd stay up top. They'd stay out of the mine. You'd have all the mining equipment go into the mine. And so what I kind of want to do is do that. I might even use trains to transport the coal. And so the plan is, you know, the combine in this case would be that coal miner that I built. That has some capacity. It actually has a reasonable capacity. It has three small hoppers plus the capacity of all the ducting. And it has, what, three, four. It has at least four hoppers and then all the ducting. And so it can hold some, but not a ton. And then that vehicle we built yesterday was essentially a chaser bin. And so that has a larger capacity. And so that would sit underneath the coal miner. And once that is full, the coal miner can still keep running because it has its own capacity. And then this would run out to the open area of the mine and dump into a waiting truck, or it could go out and dump into a train. And so currently, we have to work on this, 
this chaser bin that I built yesterday. Make see what the phantom physics is if I can fix it. If I can't, we're gonna also build an auger, which I might do anyway. So here are some agricultural augers, and so if you can see there's a bunch of applications here. So for example, you can never trust which pictures I can actually zoom in on, but these augers here, as you can see, they have a little basket and you would back up to them and or drive over some of them are drive overs like let's find this one here you can actually drive over it and you dump your grain and then the auger will send it up into silos and so there's another thing we can build we actually need to build one of these anyway because for gold mining the processor of gold mining the devs built it ridiculously high and so we need some sort of auger system that can be transported you can see right here it's kind of hard to see probably, but there is a trailer hitch there. And so the legs here articulate, they have wheels on them. And this allows you to raise or lower the auger to different heights. So they have different height silos. When they're going on the road, they need to lo uh, lower it so that they're not hitting wires. They need to be able to drag it into fields and whatnot for storage. And so they can change the height. So we're gonna try to see if we can fix the chaser bin. And we'll also try to build a Auger. All right, so back with this chaser bin. And so for some reason, I'm having some phantom physics. Now, I don't know how the collisions are on these ducts, but I'm wondering if I'm getting a collision. So I changed it last time. If you recall, I put this in here and it is connected. There is nothing touching this. It has an invisible, you know, it's broken now, but a link that goes all the way to the back here that will rotate this bottom section. That will keep it from. They'll keep it from translating left, right. It should rotate in place, which it's going to need that to be able to transfer the coal through. So let's go ahead and we'll articulate it. And so, as you see, as we articulate it, it is causing phantom forces. So it's as though something is colliding, which we really don't want. We don't want that colliding like that. So as you can see, it's making the bin kind of walk off on, on its axis. And so real quick, I think what we should do is let's start working on the auger. And we'll do that. And so let's start with some hoppers. All right. I have a bunch of vehicles. Let's try to let's try to look at a couple of vehicles because I want to make this auger work for a bunch of my builds. And so we have the Macar dump truck. This has one funnel coming off the back of it I'm trying to find I have another I have a mine I think it's under mining so yeah here's a mining truck so this is a mining dump truck this is the kind you'd have in open pit mines it will fit in the coal mine and as you can see this has three as you see, it has three funnels, so we probably want to go three wide, or we want to potentially refine the design of this, but uh, probably go three wide, I'd say. And so let's go ahead and start that. All right, so we want to go hopper. That gives us more versatility to go wider. It also lets me dump it a little bit quicker. So we'll grab some hoppers here. Don't know what color I'm going to color them yet, so we'll keep them white for the moment. And we'll lay in three next to each other. All right, and so that's going to be the base of the auger. And so these can tip fine. So then what we want to do is we want to get some ducting. And I want to keep this as thin, as compact as possible. This needs to be towed in the ground. Let's see what the width of this is. Probably not too bad. That's nine. So yeah, that's fine. So often the trucks are like 15, 13, 15 wide. Something like that. So that's not too bad. I'd like to actually get in there and do some mining, but it gets delayed here and there because we need certain equipment. So that's one of the things is, you know, it's all testing at the end of the day until we finally figure out what we actually need. And so ultimately, I could do Pythagorean theorem and all this stuff to get this right, but I don't think I want to go that nuts. 
Alright. So this is going to be very long. And so a funnel goes in the end of that. Alright, and so this is going to be dragged by, you know, one of our trucks going in. And so I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. So this is going to have to sit on the ground. And so I'm thinking for now. Let's just stick a connector right there for now. I just need this proof of concept working, and then I can dress it up a little bit more later. And then I want magalls. And the magalls are going to be important because this needs to, you know, this is going to be light, and in game it's going to kick around. And so I need this to be able to attach when it rotates down on the ground. So hopefully that works there. All right, and so we have the center of gravity here is going to be where we want it right there. So I'm going to do a couple pivots. We'll do power pivots like so. And put them at CG and we'll go Y like that. And this is for balancing purposes. All right, and so I'm just kind of figuring out how we want to do this. All right, so let's go ahead, and then what we want to do is we want to drag a couple. I'm going to just do rocket motors, probably. I'll do blocks for now, keep the cost down. One of the issues we're going to run into is cost. You know, we have a lot of equipment here, and so this is very costly. All right, so these need to be very long legs in order to be able to have it bend properly. All right, so let's start with three by threes here. Keep them kind of on the comp compact nature. We can always scale those up. Probably let's actually do five bys and then we can scale them down. I think that's a better method there. All right, so that is like that. All right, and then what we need is a throttle. And that's going to go to these two pivots. All right. And so let's go ahead and put this on the ground. And then I just want to grab my cart. Cart's kind of what I uh, test everything with. And then the cart's just going to go here. And I just want this to snap to the cart. So... We can pick these connectors up uh, ourselves. That's probably going to have to go down. Have to think of the mechanics of how this is going to move. So. Do a toggle here. For the magalls, I just want to make sure the magalls are going to reach where they have to do, where they have to go. All right, and so that's pasted. So let's go ahead and spawn this. All right, so that's attached now, and so that was a little bit on the low side, so I probably had it right where I had last time. So let's start moving these legs up. Oh, that's fast. So essentially, it's going to go like that. And so you see, when I want to dump into the back of a trailer, you can see. You know, like I was talking about Pythagorean theorem, is we could figure out how long to make this and the angle to get the height here, or I could just make it super long. And so, as you can see, that's going to be way too high to get under bridges and whatever on the road, but you can see we can go higher and higher and higher. This is a, this is how it happens with the... Oh, that's getting in a fan of physics there. As you can see, that's going to allow us to get higher and higher, get into higher trailers. Uh, potentially get into the gold separator because that's uh, kind of a mess the way that's set up. And then uh, we'll also be able to go low profile. I can't really do it now. It's sitting on the ladder. But it'll be able to go low profile and ride down the road. So proof of concept that works. I just need to fix it a little bit here. And so I think I'm going to do here is let's grab the cart out of here. 
And we'll redo that. All right. And so let's try a hinge. This will just be easier and stronger, I think. So put a hinge in the middle here. And so as these legs go down, this hinge will go up. And this is where the tongue's going to be. So I kind of want a long tongue on this. And the tongue is where the trailer attach or where you attach it to a vehicle. And so put the tongue there. All right. And so this will stay flat with the ground. Might have to make this tongue independent. We'll see. So you need to be able to back over this. So my vehicles need the clearance to drive over the tongue. So that's we have to see if that's going to be a problem or not. Hopefully not. We could turn this and put these on the side. But I'd rather not do that. So let's put that there like that. And then try to figure out my magols here. So the tongue is always going to stay flat. So a magol could go on the tongue. Let's try that. Okay, let's go up one so we can install the magol. I put a toggle here. And so at some point, you know, I can always, once this is done, I can change and make it longer, make it shorter for the gold separated. Because at some point, I'd like to get into gold as well. That'd be fun. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put in a more robust vehicle than, than the cart. Let's put in our new tractor. It should have a pintle on the back, I think. Why is this so far underground? Okay, so this should have a pintle in the back. So let's see, pintle right there. Okay. All right, let's spawn it. That will drop a little bit, but should should be fine. All right, so this is more of the application of how this is going to be towed in with a large truck. And we can grab this. It is too heavy to grab, which is fine. And so as we just go in the correct direction. All right, I don't want it sitting on that tongue, so I need to work on... I didn't hook it up. That would be why. Okay. I have to actually hook it up. So this needs to be hooked to the hinge. The whole point of this is to keep this flat at all po at all times. Okay. And so first we're going to test uh, if this is at the mine. So you would tilt this like this. All right. So the angle screwy. So this is tilting too much. All right, and so that wouldn't be touching the ground. So we want that lane flat, and that's so that a vehicle can bridge it. And so that is now up and over, so you can get a trailer under there. All right, and then let's try to attach and go into kind of road mode here. I can't really move it by hand. It's too heavy. Probably full of coal, I'd imagine. I bet it's full of coal. So I'll back the truck up into it. I'd like to get back to actually doing the mining, but I do have to kind of get all the equipment ready before I can do it. So, so I think I'll just put an independent uh, control in the tongue there. Okay, I don't think my reverse lights are hooked up, so they're not, uh, it's usually my signal that I'm in reverse. Okay, good. So let's get out, and this will go. So you go more flat like this, and it's not going to be that flat, but then, as you can see, that can be transported on the road. All right, so proof of concept is working pretty well. It does not need to be this long. So let's, it uh, does not need to be that long either. So let's go ahead and we'll just put this for now. We'll control that. All right, so let's test it kind of if it was, if it were at the mine. 
All right, so let me do this too. These are way oversped, so let's go down to like 10% on these two throttles. Be a lot less jumpy now. All right, good. So those are set. So let's say we're at the mine. And we will raise this one up. All right, so that is locked now. So this is locked in place, and this is going to help this from hopefully skittering around and being obnoxious. Then this goes up. All right, so I need to keep bending this. So I need to figure out the ratio to make this sit properly so that I don't have to independently control them, but I'll figure that out later. All right, so now that is raised, and so that sits at the mine ready to dump into a trailer or whatever. And so you can have a vehicle come back over this. And so let's do that. The vehicle, the issue is going to be this connector if we have a connector. But the vehicle will be able to back right over this. And so let's do this. And grab. Let's grab this. So this is kind of the max of what will be used for transpo. And this this doesn't have any connectors in the back, so that should be fine. Hopefully. Okay, that's good. Yep. All right, so this will spawn. All right, what we'll do here is we'll uh, go ahead and toggle the mag all. We'll bring this up. Get it to snap, and then we'll start to bring this up. And this can go to whatever height it needs to. You know, so that will now reach, you know, the top of a regular trailer. All right, and we're going to jump in this beast. This one, we have infinite electricity on? Okay, I probably, I did never finish this, so. Okay, does this not run at all? All right. Kind of obnoxious. Oh, it's it's it's. I think it's diesel electric actually. Can't remember. It's been a while since I run this. All right. So anyway, so this will back over, and this will back over. And as you can see, because it has three, it should be pretty close to working. So we should be able to dump in there back over the top of it and then dump in there and it will raise it up and dump it into a trailer. So those funnels should probably hit fine and go in there. Okay, good. So proof of concept is kind of working well for us. All right. So what I need to do is let's try to get these back on one throttle. And so what I'll... Oh, symmetry. Okay, so what I can do here is change the speed of the actual pivots to accomplish that. So what is your speed? Speed is 1. Okay, let's try the speed of this at 0.3. It might be the other way around. I might need it to go faster. We'll see. Okay, it's the other way. It needs to go a third of the speed, probably. I'm just guessing, too, so. All guesswork at this moment. So we want to be able to connect the mag all and then have these not act up like they're doing there. So let's, let's do... So that's still... Let's do it without the mag all, and I kind of need to see what my speed ratio needs to be. All right, so that's moving way too fast. I'm just going to play with it and try to get it where it's reasonable. So that should look like it's sit, staying sitting on the ground the whole time. Okay, so that looks perfect. So see how it looks like it's just sitting on the ground? <laughs> oh, phantom physics. What are you doing to me? 
So that's a phantom physics issue. So probably run into that a bunch here doing this, but let's uh, mag all it. Make see if it's gonna misbehave itself. All right, so that goes up like that. That looks like it's behaving. And you notice it's not skittering around, so that will do the job. And so now it has simple controls. And so this will... I'm trying to think if I want to put it on. I might do it so that it's constant on on the funnel, but let's just do this right now. For now, let's do it that if it's locked, it will turn on the funnel. All right. And do I need electricity for this? I do. So, put a couple small batteries on there. This is going to be outside, so we're going to try a little solar. Symmetry is off. Why wouldn't you be? All right. And we're just going to do that and a little bit of solar. Hopefully, this will just keep the batteries chopped off. This shouldn't be really using much electricity because it's going to use the electricity to raise up and then it's going to just sit there. And so, hopefully, it shouldn't use any electricity. All right. And then, what I'll do for just giggles is Put a cable anchor on here. Don't need two of them, thanks. And then we'll tie that into the electrical system. And this will make it so that if need be, I can recharge it at the site. All right, good. So that is all done. So let's save this as coal conveyor. Do mineral conveyor because we can use it for other things later. All right, so this needs to go up to the mine because this will allow me to put in, into, uh, you know, lower trailers into higher trailers. Don't really need it at the moment. I can do other things. This is also going to help me. I have one of these to put things in trains, but we could do that. Let's see what I have for cars for the train because maybe we'll uh, do a little bit of train work. That's going to probably be you know, easier. So here's coal cars. Okay, they won't go in there. Those are coal cars. All right, so let's go ahead and let's test this out. I'll see you guys in the career build series save, and we'll see how we can get all this to work. All right, so we're back in the coal mine. So let's start simple. We have that done. Probably not going to bring that up this episode. We already have these trailers are working and in place. And so let's fire this up and get that going. So I want to get this out of the way for now. And so these trailers are low enough. As, as you can see, it, it's absolutely cavernous in this mountain. You know, IRL, these underground coals, uh, coal mining areas that are probably as high as that vehicle over there. That's why it is the height that it is. So, you know, we can get tractor trailers in here that we would never be able to get in the real one. But uh, it is what it is. And so uh, kind of RP it a little bit as an underground coal mine. But... Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and park this up and put this on a new seam. Are we started? We are not. Okay. All right, so I'm going to shut off the drill and we'll back it up. Brakes on. And we'll just move seams on this and I will try to get this drilling. What is my funnel? Funnel is five. So we'll see if we can't get these trailers filled at least, and then go ahead and move from there. So, six. So we'll go to this left coal seam here. To 
dogs over there. I don't know how the dog got loose. But the dog is loose. Alright, and let's see. Are we up? Are we hard against it? We are. Let's go ahead and press 6 to lock up the tracks. Go ahead and we will press spacebar. So I did fix the sliders on this. Okay, we are dumping. I don't want to be dumping right now. Okay, good. So that needs to go in. Now let's go onto the spout and try to catch some of this coal. So right now it's a pretty slow process, but once we kind of get some coal up and running, we're going to have to run this to a train or to waiting trucks, and so that is pretty time-consuming, so hopefully the miner will kind of run. I can still try to do direct drive diesel, which I might for the drills to get them going a little bit faster. They're a little bit on the slow side at the moment, but I'm curious what our rate is. So. But I do like the feeder system. I think that's fun. Of course, I didn't throw it all away. So it seems like some are getting stuck. It doesn't matter. You know, we're not really losing anything. Got some going through here. I'm trying to see how many we're getting. I want to make sure we're just getting a positive rate here. All right, so we are we are we are eating some. We're dumping some, but we're still eating some. And this can dump. All right, so that is dumping into this trailer here. So let's go ahead and look in here. All right, so it's pretty it's pretty slow. But uh, this is going to be supplemented, I would say. So we're missing more than I like. We're definitely missing a bunch, so. You see, they're getting hung up here. So I'm going to just put in... Uh, I put in a little bit of a... Hopefully this doesn't break it. Sometimes that will break things. Let's see if I have damage. Okay, vehicle damage is off. I'm powering into a solid object that will sometimes cause explosions, so shut the vehicle damage off for that reason. And we'll kind of play with it. Again, we're still in the testing phase. Still want to see if this is going to work properly or not. We're actually, we're up a good 20 from when we started, so I don't know what the capacity is on this, but uh... alright, so pushing up against that is a good method. Somebody was talking about put a mag all or something. That's a notion I, to uh, keep it stationary, but uh, you know to kind of account for the errors of the game. So that's something to think about as well. All right. So this is a very hands-off system. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. <laughs> so hopefully, I can leave the truck. It looks like is the truck sliding a little bit. That's yeah. See, it's it's sliding because the. Um, there was a touching, so let's let's get into reverse here. There we go. So we just use gravity brakes there. You just use gravity to back up a little bit there. Let me see if I can go up a little bit on the auger pipe and uh, have that interact less. Okay, that's at max height. So it's like the truck is sliding forward. I wonder if it's because that drop axle's moving and it's causing some phantom force. Let's drop the drop axle. So once that touches the ground, that will give it more... Okay, see, now it's like... These are sliding all over the place. That's just game stuff that we can't do anything about. Not the end of the world, so we have to kind of pay attention to this more than I'd like. I'd like this to be a little bit more hands-off because there, I want to be able to have other machines that I have to physically operate. So, like, this would just sit here and mine. See, it's dumping a ton now because it's getting pushed by the truck. So, all right. So, there are some issues here. Uh, a big part of it is just that trailer is really too high. And so, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll keep it running like it is. 
you know, the coals do not cost me anything if I'm losing it. And then let's go and bring in a different, a new vehicle. No, go away, please. And let's go over to Draymore. Let's bring in one of our new vehicles. What do we have for cash? Ooh, we don't have the cash for that. All right. Should have seen that coming. So we don't have the cash to uh, bring in a new vehicle right now. We'd have to put a bunch of stuff away. But again, proof of concept here is kind of important. See if it works. If it doesn't work, we have to try something else. It is working. It's not working perfectly. So what I think we'll do is since this relies on pressing up against the wall, which as you can see, it does. What I'm going to do is put probably... I don't like them all that much, but we'll put two magals on the front bucket and it will actually grab the wall because the whole... This needs to grab the wall to work. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have to refine our designs or we're just wasting time here. So let's go ahead and shut this down. Okay. And so, you know what? Driving up against the wall is probably not a bright idea either. So let's press six for the brakes. I'm going to change the tension on the tracks. I have worked on tracks before and you need to change the tension. Somebody brought it up, but I, I was aware of that. I appreciate the comment though. Because sometimes I either don't know or I do forget. So don't be afraid to comment. Alright, good. So that is done. Let's go ahead and... Not going to bother transposing these out. Let's bring this back to the workbench. A lot of these are electric or diesel electric. So they... So I'm not going to save this one because I have made some small changes. I got rid of the upslope on there. I think I'm going to put it back because I looked at the actual real one and it does have, it does slope up to have a cover on the belts. Actually, it doesn't. Um, I don't know if I like it. I like this a little bit lower profile. Let's keep it like this. I fixed the slider on that, so that should slide. And then let's do this. Grab some magals. Like so. Alright, and then this will mag all up against the wall. And then that will... This will mag all up against the wall, and that will make it so that this doesn't move all over the shop. Let's see, what do I have on here? One is drill forward, drill back, boom up, boom down, dump. Park break. Could double them up, but that's problematic. So if I'm drilling, I want it magalled. So if I am drilling, I want that magalled, so we'll put that on trigger. So let's see. Where's my drills here? Okay, so that goes there. So let's we can go right off of this. So where is the trigger? Trigger it will also activate the magals. Let's go electricity like so. That does that. Okay, so that will be our new way to lock it. That will help. All right, so that will lock it up against the wall, and then I can have the parking brake off, which will make it jitter less and be less of a pain. Let's drop these tensions a little bit. Let's just go to 90s. I haven't played with tracks in a while. so Somebody did mention that, so I appreciate that. I have not played with them in a while. Sometimes that will make them a little more jittery. All right, so let's lower that to the ground. Let's save that. All right, so that is now good. All right, let's just double check all the features of this. So, oh, I need to turn on. Oh, this does have diesel. Okay. I cost myself a bunch of diesel here. Yep, I just ate up a ton of diesel. That's all right, I'll reload the save and get this all set up. So, infinite fuel. 
Alright, and so we're just going to test this out. So I want to go up on these. And then I want to go forward on them. So you see the slider's working now, so I can keep it hard against the coal seam. The other thing I could do, which I didn't want to do, is put funnels underneath these drills so that I can have them drop closer. Because right now they just drop. Yeah, see the magols are going to cause me issues where they are. Magols are going to cause me issues because it's going to leave a gap there, and I don't, I definitely don't want that gap. So let's move the magols in one. So I think they will grab there because the collision on wedges is reduced. And so they still should grab, and that should hopefully give me a nice tight seal against the wall. Nice. All right, so let's just do a quick test. We'll stick this up against the wall. And so I'm just going to stick it against the wall, see if I get a good tight grip on the wall. So let's rotate it. There's a little funny me floating off the ground. And I need to change the sensitivity on these tracks there. I dropped the sensitivity down too low, and now they're not responsive as I'd like them, so I need to fix that as well. All right, so let's go up against the wall here. Give it a minute to try to see. They don't reset fast enough, so they have, like, memory. They're still trying to, still trying to reduce their numbers down as I'm off to another thing. So here we'll raise it up like we're going to drill the wall here. We'll try not to hit it too hard. doesn't matter. We have uh, damage off. Power in against the wall to get this to turn straight. We'll start it. And it is now connected via Magol, as you can see. So that should hit, be tighter against the wall now, and that should hold us in place. It's not an eyesore. I kind of like it. It's not bad. It's a good way to do it. All right, so let's raise this. Uh, let's go ahead and press six. We'll stop the tracks. We'll raise this up, and then I can push this. Uh, okay, getting caught now. It doesn't want to push forward unless it's all the way forward already. Okay, what the hell, man? It doesn't want to push forward now. Okay, it is. Is it against the wall? Maybe it thinks it's against the wall. I don't know. It is not cooperating, pushing against the wall. So, all right. So it doesn't want to slide forward now, but it was drilling fine last time. So, I don't expect any issues with that. What I could do theoretically is I could put on some funnels here, and those funnels will drop it directly down. Kind of rather not, but I could. You know, they drop here, and sometimes we get some missing, so it'll take a little bit more testing to figure that out. But it's uh, it's not the end of the world. So what I could do is go in and make an add-on and throw this in the coal mine and see. So maybe I'll do that. That will be a little bit quicker way to test some things in the future. But uh, let's go ahead and grab this back. All right, so why is that not sliding? It's getting, like, it gets hung up here. I, it doesn't surprise me. Let's do this. Cut that and move that up one. Okay. Cut this one and move this one up one. So they're hitting stuff that I don't want them to hit. All right. Hopefully we can get rid of some of this collision issue. Let's change the drives for the miners, for the drills, up a little bit. Put them just direct motors. I did it this way because I was thinking I might at some point try to do direct drive, but I've been able to, unable to route that properly. So, 
Okay. So we'll go motor, direct motors like that. Let's go ahead and tie in the electricity here. And then I need to tie in the actual drives for them. Where is it? I think it's on this side. Nope. Where are you there, guy? Feeders, okay. So what are the feeders set to? Drills, right here, drills, okay. So I have the drills set to a lower number, partly just to not eat up a ton of battery, but I might increase those too. So the drills are set to a constant one. Okay, so they're at max anyway. Feeders are set to a 0.3. Okay, that's fine. That's set up now, and let's put some new arms back on this. All right, so we have some articulation arms on there. It's going to misbehave. Go like this. Okay. What are you hitting that you're causing me problems, you pain in the ass? All right, there we go. All right, so that is now has new arms on it. Make sure they're all merged up and good. All right, so that's all one piece now. Let's see if the slider works now. If not, I have to, I don't like this. Go like that. That's better, okay. Let's see if the slider works now properly. All right, so see it slides fine now. Let's hope it continues to slide. I think it was clipping on other parts. Let's get rid of this. I don't need this here. Be a pain. And we'll go like that. Kind of clean that up a little bit. All that black like that. A lot of yellow on here, so color it up a little bit. A little bit more contrast in there. It's good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. That's good there. And then I need to hook up brakes on these, the brakes on there. All right, and then let's go ahead and I want to change the WSAD. So this should be reset. I forget what they start at. I think it's 10, 10, 10. All right, let's try that. Yeah, so see if this operates a little bit better for me. All right, so up, forward.
backwards. Go up on this. That works well. Let's go ahead and start turning. Much more responsive now on the tracks. And when I let go, it stops a lot more quickly because those are faster. The feeders are now touching one another. I don't know. One of the feeders looks like it got disconnected, so. It's not behaving itself. Ooh, we're fast now. Faster than I'd like. But we're, we're responsive. What I could do is put a clamp on that. That would slow us down, but. Okay. Now it started. Alright, so it looks like an electric connection got hit. Yep, the electric connection. That's why one of the feeders wasn't working, and that's why the mag all. So I broke an electric connection, so that's good to know. All right, so now let's see if I can't get this to touch correctly. And yep, so that moves, and then I can drill. I may add funnels on there. I don't know. I don't like the look of them, but I think I'm going to add funnels on there. I don't know. We'll see. This is uh, this is working pretty well right now. So this is working better. Let's go up and down on the uh, the boom here. Okay. So my boom isn't working either. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think which is my boom controls. Uh, let's check it. Boom is three and four. Okay, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. So I want to limit this a little bit, so let's see. Right about there is where I want to go. I don't like any clipping, so. Let's check the pivot here. And hopefully we can just get mining next time. I'd really like to get mining and do less, uh, less building. You know, I do enjoy the building, but we've been building a bunch here, so. I'm trying to find this pivot here where these are attached to and see where we're at. And I'll eyeball it for now, it's being a pain. Uh, Alright, so this uh, this looks like it's working a little bit better now. Looks like this will be uh, operable. So let's go ahead and save this up. We also have my Built This Last Career Build series. I never got a chance to use it, so I might use it. This is my mill. So this is designed after a, an asphalt mill, so these would go out on the road and grind up asphalt. And so this is especially made for gold mining, but this could also go in in the mine here. And so as you see the mill drops down and grinds, and then the what you would do is you would drive this, park it on a spot, and then put a truck underneath. And so this could also go in the mine as well. So we have a bunch of equipment that could go in. Let's see what this costs. That costs 64. Any of the drills are expensive. And then this mining truck is 20. This is cheap. And this, as you can see, has an enormous capacity. So this holds a ton of coal. And so this uh, could be our in miner, our in uh, mine miner, our in mine dump truck. English language, speak me. But I will figure that out. Let me grab the, fix the electrical issue before I forget it, because I will forget that this needs electrical work. And I think we'll end it up there in a minute. You know, might, uh, you know, we have a lot of equipment out in the world. So see, none of this is connected anymore. So I have to fix that. So right there okay good so that would be why that didn't want to work and then these are what is that that's gearbox I don't shift my gearboxes so I don't need to worry about that and then all of this appears to be disconnected from electricity so that can go there as well all right nice and so we have an extra electric motor so that should turn the drills a little bit faster but I think this is uh this is pretty good at the moment so you know, one of the things is we're kind of committed to drilling right now because so many vehicles are up there. It's going to take me some time to get them back. And so all I'm going to do is reload the save and go back in there. And, uh, you know, I may clean up. We might do some other stuff. We may go back to mining. 
But we have the equipment now. The auger is going to be helpful. Let's go ahead and we'll do a quick teleport and I'll kind of show you why we need, definitely need the auger. So this was another oversight from the devs, I think, was if we go to the Ace Master Gold separator, this is a cool separator that, you know, kind of realistic. But the issue is it's incredibly tall. So you see, this is the dump area here. That is insanity. That's like three stories tall. And so it's way off scale. Like, look at that. That's insane. So this is kind of like a little, it's kind of like a screen. You'd, you'd be dumping like front end loaders in there. Like the scale is way off. It's like they built something and this scaled way off. Yeah, I just don't get it. Is This should be on the ground. All they have to do is cut this off, put this right here, and put a, uh, like a fake belt that would dump up there, and you'd be good. But, um, you know, they just need to go back and fix that. So, you know, you dump in there, it would shake. This, this looks like a shake separator or a screen. So this looks like a screen, and a front-end loader should be able to come up and dump in there, a standard front-end loader. But it's just way oversized. And then that's like a roller mill that would, you'd put water in there. Those are the rollers. It rolls this tumbler, and then it would come out here and go on the belt. So... That's one of the reasons we need that auger is to get up this insane three-story tall building that should be down about here, you know, so they can get a front-end loader. So it's probably be about here. But, uh, you know, so that would be what we would uh, want to do on that. So hope you guys enjoy that. Hopefully we can get more into missions and actually getting some of this coal mining done. But, you know, we're in the testing phase of all these machines. We have a lot of machines, and they have a lot of things that they need to make them operable. So hope you guys enjoy that. See you in the next one.